Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes and welcome to part two of my gothic summer lookbook. And I'm just showing you, this is Shop My Closet, so this is just stuff that's already been in my wardrobe and I'm just showing you different outfits that I would wear in the summer that have a nice gothic flair to them. You don't have to uh, give up your aesthetic just because it's hot out. <laughs> but I'm starting here with this dress. This is a old dress from I say it was either Dress Lily or whatever their Rose Gal, one of those two companies. I haven't ordered from either one of them in a very long time, uh, but I, I do have several of their dresses still that I love. This is one of them. Now this dress is a bit oversized on me, uh, but I just take care of that by cinching it in with a belt. And it's got all these cute little bats, and at the bottom you have the super cute cat print. And I finally found my silver buckle bat belt. <laughs> if you saw one of my last, uh, I think it was look books. I couldn't find this belt anywhere. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> it's like nothing leaves the house. It's all here somewhere. I just need to, you know, because I've been sorting through my clothes to sell stuff on Poshmark and Vinted. So a lot of stuff will get kind of tossed off to the side and then stuff gets piled on top of it as I'm trying to go through everything and uh, I keep losing things and then refining them. Anyway, enough about all that. This is outfit one for today's uh, summer gothic look book. I do absolutely love this dress. It is a, uh, that type of material that a lot of these inexpensive Asian dresses are where it kind of almost feel like a swimsuit but I, I find them to be very comfortable. I do like this material and I like this this dress has these little sheer insets on the sleeves and just a really cute little outfit. And as I mentioned in part one um, in the summer I don't really wear tights. I'll either wear some sort of bloomer or you know bike short under dresses or I'll use uh, I have the gold bond friction balm which looks like a deodorant and you just rub it on your inner thighs and it prevents you know friction burns and stuff like that and that stuff is amazing I absolutely love it I went off about it in the last video so I'm not going to go off about it again in this video but this is outfit one let us move on to the second outfit in today's gothic summer lookbook next is this really dark green lace dress from Killstar and I absolutely love this dress. It is so cute. It has the little cap sleeves and a little bit of sheer lace through here. But this is an incredibly short dress. So short. Like, and since I, I, I don't wear the tights, I paired this with my black bloomers. And, <laughs> you know, that's how short this dress is. The bloomers even go below the hemline on the dress. So this dress definitely calls for a pair of shorts. And I would most likely wear these cute little black bloomers with it. But yeah, really comfortable, cool, cute, and easy. And we just have a couple more outfits to go. Let me go change. So this next outfit would be super fun for just running around on a, a nice summer day. <laughs> and it's a really cute little dress by Punk Rave. It has this little kind of cold shoulder off the shoulder detailing and some lacing here in the front. I don't have a lot of Punk Rave stuff, but the few pieces I do have are really cute. And this is one of the few that's even true to size because they, they a lot of times cut their stuff small. But this one is an extra large and it fits me perfectly. And I paired that with this hat that I found on, I think it was from one of my first Temu collaboration hauls. <laughs> this hat is so ridiculous and I love it so much. It's like, technically it's, you know, a brim hat. <laughs> but it's designed to wear like either way but if you wear it this way not only do you have the cat ears because the cat ears are always adorable it has built-in sunglasses you just unsnap this and pull it down <laughs> and you have built-in sunglasses plus now you're wearing like a cat mask <laughs> i absolutely love this hat i know it's absolutely ridiculous but i just think it's the cutest thing and yes i will be taking this to the beach with me <laughs> and uh, when you see this video I might already be at the beach as <laughs> well going on a beach trip to North Carolina and and uh, there's like it's gonna be a little cool sure but it has heated pools <laughs> the house we're staying at has a heated pool and of course jacuzzis so I'm really looking forward to it but yeah I love this hat I think it's so cute I love this dress and I think we only have two more let me go change again so if you saw part one of my little gothic summer lookbook, you would know that, that I wear this strappy bra. It's got a lot more straps to it. But you know I wear this strappy bra and uh, this collar 
with the collar is actually new but the strappy bra is something that I have a couple of them that I add to outfits all the time just because I think the straps add a little extra interest to the outfit now this dress is a little high cut for it to really be effective because you only get the couple of straps right here but I think it's still cute and uh, this collar is definitely going to become my new favorite collar I just love the way it's like a little shirt collar and I'm going to be wearing this with one of the strappy bras a lot this summer to spice up my outfits just a little bit and I did pair that with one of my witch hats and one of the uh, hat chains that that I make for these witch hats this one has the moon on it which I thought was perfect for my little witchy kitties now this dress I, I'm guessing is more fall themed but it's a tank dress <laughs> So I wear it all summer long and I just think it's the cutest thing with the little witch kitties in their little red witch hats <laughs> and you know obviously tying it in with that. <laughs> so we only have a one outfit left and we'll be done with this current version of my gothic summer lookbook. If you are interested I, I can do probably several more gothic summer lookbooks in the future. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more gothic summer lookbooks uh, just for some summer inspiration while still staying aesthetic. <laughs> but uh, let me go change into that last outfit. I'll see you in a second. So here is my final outfit for <laughs> The second part of my gothic summer lookbook. Again, wearing that strappy bra. This dress I think is a little more, <laughs> you know, a better match for the strappy bra because you get to see more of the straps. I'm still wearing that same little collar that I absolutely love. Uh, these are UV protection sleeves and these are so so interesting. I got these off of Temu. Uh, I actually, if you just saw my last or I don't know when these videos are getting published. If you see my next Temu haul because I think this is going to get published first. <laughs> I actually bought like three more pairs of these as backups because I discovered these are basically like tights in the the type of material that it is and they will run like tights so they're not going to last forever but they do give you uv protection and the other interesting thing about them is they have like a the the um, fabric contents involved something i think it was cellulose something like that but they have this weird cooling sensation they actually and they act, i can actually like just right here right now i can feel it i can feel the coolness from them it's so strange but really a neat effect and I, I think will be very much appreciated in those hot summer months I did get a couple pair in a light lilac color because you know black isn't necessarily the best color to wear out in the sun <laughs> but I still do it a lot anyway <laughs> although I do tend to go outside more in the evenings than I do during the day but you know <sighs> but anyway so these these types of gloves if not this specific pair <laughs> Are going to make it into a lot of my outfits this summer i'm just i'm just in this i don't want to deal with sunburns mode <laughs> so anything i can do to give myself a little extra sun protection i'm going to be all about that and these will be great for like driving because then you don't get like that driver's tan and yeah i'll still have to remember to put some block up here on my shoulders if i'm not wearing at least a little bit of a sleeve for the tank dress like this but yeah so, oh, and the dress is from, I want to say from Romwe, either Romwe or Shein, but it's got like the little velvet bat burnout print on the skirt, which is lined in a purple and just a little cute little, you know, black polyester top. Does not have any straps of his own other than these. Actually, you probably see them on the back. So it also has a few, a few extra strappies to go with all these strappies, which I think is a nice mix. But that is everything for this summer lookbook. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought about all this down in the comments below. Which of these outfits was your favorite? And if you haven't seen part one, I'll put that up in the cards. Or I will have already put that up in the cards. <laughs> or you can just go to my channel and <laughs> find the list. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, of course you can give it a thumbs down. And please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.